In this video we're going to be looking at how to sketch an exponential curve. So the type of curve that I'm looking at in this case would be something like y is equal to 2 to the x. Now if I'm going to sketch this there's important considerations. First of all we've got to think about where it crosses the x and y axis, if at all. So in order to do that, we think about where x is 0 and where y is 0. When x is 0, that tells me where it crosses the y-axis. So if x is 0, I have 2 to the 0, which is just 1. So I can say very safely that the curve intersects the y-axis at 1. Now if you're looking at the where it crosses the x-axis, that's when y is 0. So if we put y 0 for the moment, then try all you might, trying different values of x, be it 100, minus 100, uh, 0, 0, 0.1, you're never going to find a value that will get 2 to the x to be 0. You can get very close to it, 2 to the minus a million is very, very, very small, uh, but it's not quite zero. And so, if we're looking at minus 10 or minus 100 or minus a million, we're getting closer and closer and closer to zero. And so, on the left-hand side of this curve, we find that the curve gets closer and closer and closer to zero, but never quite reaches it, never quite reaches the x-axis. But when we go to the right of the y-axis, so you're looking at 2 to the 1, 2 to the 2, 2 to the 3, so you're looking at 2, 4, 16, 64, then the curve increases exponentially. And so increases very rapidly. So this could be y is equal to 2 to the x, and a sketch of it. Now, if that's y is equal to 2 to the x, then how would I sketch y is equal to 3 to the x? Well, we do it in exactly the same way. We'd think, well, when x is 0, y is equal to 3 to the 0, which is 1. So it still goes through that point. When x is minus 10, minus 100, minus 1,000, minus a million, this is getting very, very small, okay? But it gets smaller quicker than 2 to the x. So I would expect that the curve would look something like this. It would get smaller quicker, but would still never reach 0. But when I go to the right of the y axis, then you've got 3 to the 1, 3 squared, 3 cubed, so you've got 3, 9, 27, 81, and so it's increasing faster than 2 to the x. And so you would expect it to look something like this in comparison to 2 to the x. So it increases exponentially quickly, but even faster than 2 to the x. And no matter how you sketch it, be it y is equal to a to the x, any number to the power of x, um, but we'll just stick with positive numbers for the time being, then all of these will go through 1, because a to the 0 is 1. So they'll all go through that point on the y-axis. But whether it's uh, 2, 3, 4, the curve will be slightly steeper as you increase a. And will become shallower as you decrease a towards 1. Because 1 to the power of x would just be a horizontal line. Okay? So this is how you sketch an exponential curve. If you were just asked in an exam to sketch y is equal to 7 to the x, then 
the sketch can be as quick as this. And that's it. I don't require a frame of reference to look at how this is different to y is equal to 2 to the x, unless I was asked to sketch both, in which case y is equal to 2 to the x would look something like this. You just need to make the curve shallower, but still both of them going through one.